Hello, welcome to Physics and Court. Today we'll be solving uh, some questions in the area of UTME slash jump pass questions. And today we have three questions on the board. And of course, looking at these questions, you will know that these questions are from a simple machine. So let's begin with question number one. In question number one, a machine whose efficiency is 60% has a velocity ratio of 5. If a force of 500 newton is applied to lift a load P, what is the magnitude of P? So in our culture, we begin by listing out the parameters given so that we know what we are about to do. So we have the efficiency, 60 percent and then we have the velocity ratio our vr equals five and then they give us if a force of 500 newton is applied that is the effort so we have the effort as 500 newton and the load is p to lift a load p so we have our p that's the load equals to p equals to question mark okay so that's what they require request from us to do so if we are to deal with this definitely for us to do anything with effort and load we know that mechanical advantage is equals to load over over effort so that's the formula if we are to do anything with load and effort so we have the effort we are looking for load so for us to actually get this load we will need our mechanical advantage and then we know there is a formula that connects mechanical advantage and velocity ratio with efficiency so that's efficiency equals to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 percent so let us use this to get our mechanical advantage and then we can come back to knowing our load which is p so we can say that this is 60 percent equals the mechanical advantage we are looking for here the velocity ratio of course is five times hundred percent okay let's divide both sides by hundred percent that will give us 60 percent divided by hundred percent okay equals to mechanical advantage over five percent cancel percent zero cancel zero and then we have six over ten equals to m a over five so our m a now will be equals to five times six divided by ten that will be 30 divided by 10 equals to three so our mechanical advantage is three now that we have that as three then we can use our mechanical advantage now with the effort to get our load and that will be m a equals to load over effort our mechanical advantage now is three equals the load that we are looking for let's change it to p because they call it p and then our effort is 500 that will be 500 let's put this over one and then we cross multiply that will give us P equals 3 times 500. That would be P equals to 1,500. 1,500 watts is in the same unit with effort. That would be 1,500 Newton. So this is the value of the load called P that they want us to what, look for. So what did we do here? So simply list out, like I've always been um, uh, telling uh, students, always try to list out when you list out what you have it's just like you want to cook in the kitchen when you have all the items set in front of you you will know if maggie is missing if salt is missing if this or that item is actually missing so the first thing first is that you need to train yourself listing out all the parameters so if you can list out all these parameters given here now i can see that okay fine i need uh load but i have efforts and i remember that okay fine mechanical advantage will give me that now i need my mechanical advantage since they have given me my uh efficiency and velocity ratio i know that there is a formula 
that can give me my mechanical advantage having these two so first get your mechanical advantage okay and then use your mechanical advantage here with the effort given to get your load and then you have your answer okay i hope you understand that let's go to number two without wasting time just a minute so that we can have a space to solve question number two okay our question number two reads thus a machine has a velocity ratio of four if it requires 800 newton to overcome a load of 1600 newton what is the efficiency of the machine so here yeah, let's do the same thing by listing out what we have we have our velocity ratio equals to four okay and uh, here yeah, if it requires 800 newton to overcome a load that means that that is the effort so effort is 800 newton okay and to require a load of 1600 newton that means that the load is 1600 newton okay they are now asking us what is the efficiency so efficiency is the question mark so a careful observation we have velocity ratio they are asking us to find efficiency so if we have our mechanical advantage with this velocity ratio we can get our efficiency but already they have given us a clue to get our mechanical advantage because we have F, F, we have a effort and we have a load so we can say record our mechanical advantage equals to load over effort so that will be equals to 1600 which is the load over 800 and that will give us two okay zero 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 eight year one eight year two that will be two so our mechanical advantage will be two of course you know that what there's no unit in this case because newton has cancelled newton so that will just be ordinary two now that we have a me mechanical advantage so we can record the formula for efficiency as um mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 percent so that will give us mechanical advantage now is two my velocity ratio is four times 100 percent so i can say four year one four in 100 four in 10 will give me two four in 20 will give me 25 so that will now be efficiency equals to two times 25 percent and that will give us 50 percent and that will be the efficiency they're asking us so you can see this is not far from even the question number one that we solve is only that the parameter requ uh, required of us to find now changes it's changed in this uh, question number two but the same formula okay so anyhow they give you either you're looking for effort they give you load and mechanical advantage Either you are looking for mechanical advantage, you already have velocity ratio and efficiency. Either you are looking for velocity ratio, they have given you mechanical advantage and, eff and efficiency. Even if they don't really give you mechanical advantage, they will have given you things that you can use to what? find your mechanical advantage. All you need to do is just to do, make a little effort, get your two, and then... So this is just like they have given you your mechanical advantage. Just put it in the formula, you know, get your two out, and then you get your answer. This you should learn how to do. You know very fast so that you can save time in the course of your examination so i hope you understand this so let's do um let's uh solve number three number three is a very simple question but you just need to train yourself to remembering these formulas very very fast so number three an inclined plane which makes an angle 30 degree with the horizontal as a velocity ratio of dash so they want us to find the velocity ratio so inclined plane looks like this okay so you are rolling up a load okay so it makes angle 30 degree with the horizontal okay so they want us to find the velocity ratio of course you recall that velocity ratio of an inclined plane is one over sine theta so that is the formula and then 
we have theta as what 30 degrees so we can say v uh, which is velocity ratio equals to 1 over sine 30 okay and we know that what sine 30 is what 0 0.5 that would be 1 over 0 0.5 and the answer would be 2 velocity ratio doesn't have what any units of course we know that what it does not have any units so our velocity ratio is just 2 so it's the simplest of them all but if you struggle with the formula you may just miss this mark in the exam so thank you very much for staying through today's video i hope you have a good understanding of what we have solved today we have many uh more questions in this area even in your past questions and there are still much more that you are going to encounter in our subsequent uh, video so i'm going to be solving more questions in this area so that you'll be confident in the questions in the area of machine um, while writing your examination please do help uh, us to share out this video so that more students can benefit from what we have done in the course of the class today and if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and uh, click on the notification button so that you can always be notified anytime i drop a new video always stay stay through with the channel go through all the questions try uh, to also lay your hands on some questions that may look like this and test out your understanding so till the next class that will be coming your way remain blessed bye for now